I know I had other ones I wanted to get rid of, maybe. Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today, I'm going to be doing a closet clean-out of my skirts, dresses, shoes, and cardigans. That's what's in this closet here. As you can see, I have quite the cabinetry because the place I live is from, Bill was built in 1952, and for some reason it seems like in that time period they built in like all these compartments into like the walls of buildings. Um, so I actually have quite a bit of like storage and closet space here. Um, but we'll get started. Um, this is just another view. I wanted to like really show you how much this rod is bending um, and also how packed this is. If you look, I can like barely move it. Um, so I'm working on getting rid of some things to not have that happen with. So over here on this side, you can see these are color organized clothing that these are not things that I've worn in. I think the last six months was when I reset my wardrobe. Um, and then if you look in this side of my closet, so these guys are dresses that I've worn in the past few months. And then I have my skirts here as well as my cardigans. I have more dresses here because I have more dresses than hangers, but I'm not allowing myself to buy any more hangers, so more dresses just need to go. Um, and then you can see the mess that is my shoes. Um, whoops. Um, so that's kind of the closet tour up there. This is my like fur bucket. It has all my vintage fur stuff in it. Uh, mystery. Over there is my humming bucket. My closet cleanout process happens four times a year because I'm a clothes horse and someone who really likes shopping. I try to like keep my ro wardrobe like rotating and moving because otherwise it would get really out of control really fast. <laughs> so four times a year, usually in the end of the fiscal quarter, I go ahead and I go through my clothing. I count up how many of each item I have and I make myself cut 10% of that item. This tends to keep my wardrobe kind of right in the sweet spot where it's not growing any bigger. Um, that has not been true lately. Lately I've been shopping a little bit more. We're gonna get started by counting everything up. The dress I'm wearing is dress number one. Um, two, three, four, five, six, 50, um, hundred and six and a hundred and seven and then I have two more dresses up in my mending bin so that is a hundred and eight and a hundred and nine there were some I already kind of knew I was ready to get rid of um, I'm gonna get rid of this one here um, it's cute and it's it's really nice vintage condition but I just don't really wear it I don't super love how it fits me in the hips and then I feel like it like restricts my movement um, this was an early I think hem job for me because I believe when I bought this dress it had another extra like foot down at the bottom and it looks much cuter without it. Um, but that will be one I'm getting rid of. So there's one. I know I will be getting rid of this dress. I have had this dress for almost five years and I haven't worn it. Um, I'll probably see if my roommate wants it. She really likes this dress and I won't wear it. So two. We've made it to two dresses. I think I can safely get rid of oh I'm battling things these two dresses here um I've had this one for a few years it's cute it's kind of like 60s-esque but I'd rather just wear a 60s dress at that point so three and then this one I have also had for a few years I wear it a lot around the holidays but it's just time to let it go um I haven't worn it I didn't wear it this year for the holidays and I have like a gajillion more things that I would love to wear for the holidays over that mm, I think we'll get rid of this one and this one these are both modern oh so hard oh I'll definitely get rid of this one I don't wear spaghetti straps okay let's start with these so this one I have had I think actually since high school um, I've now been out of college for two years, so it's time for this one to go. Um, it's really cute. I just 
don't wear it. Um, this one I got, I don't really like velvet and I don't really like short dresses. This is much too short on me. Um, for my taste, it's not that short. I'm just dramatic. Um, I bought this. This dress, I waited, this is a top top dress that I remember waiting like multiple years to track it down on Poshmark in my size because I wasn't going to pay like original price. It's really cute, it's really great for spring, but it's again shorter than I like, and I do have a petticoat all layer under it that'll let it stick out, but I just don't wear spaghetti straps either, so there's kind of no reason to keep this dress. Um, this one here I bought because I really liked the navy blue and the button up and it being cute, but uh, I don't know if you guys saw the sewing video, but in the sewing video I have a very similar navy blue dress that I hemmed up to actually this length, so they're almost the same thing. <laughs> So I don't need this one anymore um, because I much prefer the other one and the other one is a heavier, nicer fabric and warmer. Um, and then this one here is also super cute. Uh, it kind of goes off the shoulders and it's like body hugging. It's cute and I like it, but there's like a bajillion other things I'd rather wear in my wardrobe over this. Um, so this one will also go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to find three more to get rid of. So I've always found it's the last like two or three that it's really hard to decide to get rid of something. Um, and so that holds true today. I guess we can get rid of this one. Again, this is a really sweet, cute dress, but um, it's another modern dress. I think this is Francesca's. Um, I actually bought it fairly recently. And I don't know quite why, because I really, I really prefer vintage dresses if I'm going to wear a dress. So that brings me up to nine. So now I just have to find two more, and that two more are going to be so hard, because um, I'm going to have to get rid of something that I probably like quite a bit. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, we got another bodycon dress. I've always liked this dress because it's like professional, but I have a couple of vintage dresses that are like more muted for me um, and will be professional enough to wear in the same sort of scenario I would wear this one in. So this one can go. So we just have one more. So like as far as like modern clothing that I'm keeping, so like this is a modern dress. Um, it's really beautiful on, and I bought this in Rome when I studied abroad there a few years ago, a few, five. Um, <laughs> and so, I love this dress. Um, I have like this romper that I'm keeping just because I own like one or two vintage um, rompers, but they're harder to find. So I do tend to keep some modern in my wardrobe. And then I have a ton of, it's this brand called Black Milk. Um, and I just own a lot of their dresses and I really like them, especially for like swing dancing because they're almost made of like an athletic material. And I can go out and sweat in them and like not really worry about having to wash them. Let's see. I'm going to go back over to the other side and try to find that last dress in there. Um, oh, actually, that'll be fairly easy. I know exactly which one I'm getting rid of. Where is it? This will be my last dress that I get rid of. This is also just a modern number and I wear it on days where I want to be super comfy. But it's not that flattering and it doesn't really make me feel good. And I have enough comfy dresses like this one here. That is to me more flattering and makes me feel good while also feeling really comfy and kind of like Saturday-ish. I think I might have overdone it, which means I can keep one of these dresses. We'll see. Oh wow, I had like a bit of Cheeto stuck to this one. So I got rid of 12 dresses so I can keep one of these dresses. I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm sure it will be gotten rid of next quarter unless I find that half those vintage dresses on the other side don't fit me particularly well, um, but I do think this one is just a good one to have on hand. Um, so this one will survive the purge for now. Um, but now I'll get to hang up and put all of these dresses actually in my closet, which is exciting. Next up is skirts. Oh, they're so hard to get out of the closet. My skirts are all on things like this, and I have each one of these categorized. So this one here are my plaids. Um, I know this is technically not a plaid, but it's plaid at the bottom, so it got put on the plaid one. Oh, I lost half of them. This and the ones that just fell are my 
solid colored skirts. These are all my other miscellaneous patterned skirts. Next up, these are kind of my florals. This is my black and white patterned one, except for this one. I don't know why this one is on this thing. These are my like solid blacks plus one gray one that doesn't belong. I wasn't paying attention and let my camera cut out, so I don't know what you caught skirts wise. <laughs> um, so I have gotten rid of four skirts right now out of so I had 40 something skirts, so I got rid of this black front button up skirt that is a, they're all knits. Um, this is a knit that I got rid of. It's fine, nothing wrong with it, nothing good about it. Um, I'm getting rid of this gray skirt here. Um, same thing, it's a knit and it's like a modern pencil and I don't love, I, I don't love modern pencil skirts, vintage pencil skirts look so much better. Same with this one. I know one day I can find that dream pencil skirt at the shops. So, um, so I'm gonna wait to do that and find like an actually like woven nice vintage black pencil skirt and get rid of that one. And then this last one is this Banana Republic skirt. I bought this because it looked vintage and it was back when like I couldn't quite afford to like invest in the vintage pieces I really wanted. Um, and so the time is gonna come for that to get out of my wardrobe. Um, and then we're gonna figure out my last thing I'm getting rid of, which I don't know yet. Oh, yes, I do. We're sticking with the theme of, where is it? Ha, I found it. Um, let me get it. I am gonna get rid of this skirt here, this red one. Um, I think this skirt is actually probably 90s. Um, it's from E Dolls. Um, but it's like cute, but I don't wear it. Um, and it's another like knit skirt that I don't love. So that would be the five skirts that I'm getting rid of. Um, so last up is my cardigan section. Um, I don't wear most of my cardigans, so it's time to let some go. Wow, I'm doing a horrible job of that though. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, but it has pockets. Then I'm gonna get rid of the other one. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this black cardigan from Target. Uh, I have three different black cardigans and I don't need a fourth and all of my slouchy cardigans don't match with my vintage wardrobe. Um, that's not a cardigan, that's a jacket. Hey, we got another hanger in here. Um, that's also a jacket, not a cardigan. That's a cardigan, that's a cardigan. This is a cardigan I've had for a million years. Um, I think I'm gonna still hold on to it actually. Uh, it has pockets and it's just like heavier duty and it's like a good like, comfy cardigan. I am gonna get rid of this cream cardigan though. Um, I have two vintage cream cardigans that I really love, so I don't really need this one either. Um, and then I think, I think I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um, I have a berry cardigan and a bright blue cardigan and then some cream cardigans. So I can't really imagine a scenario where I'd really take a slouchy cardigan over those like vintage, like cropped cardigans. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, so that helps a lot. Um, I mean, granted, skirts aren't back in. Skirts take a lot of the space because there's so many stacked on each other. And the three that I got, I mean, the five that I got rid of aren't gonna make a huge dent in my wardrobe. I'm trying to debate whether I should actually cut 20% of skirts and find five more to cut because I know I can find five more in here that I don't want. So I actually think I'm going to go ahead and do that because my skirt collection has been out of control and I don't love a bunch of them. Like there are a ton of skirts to me in here that I could get rid of. Um, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and get rid of this vintage, this not vintage, this H&M um, skirt. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing really great about it either. Oh, the other thing that I'm gonna get rid of, this is an actual vintage piece I will be getting rid of. Um, and we're just gonna rehang all these skirts in a new order. This is really cute. It's actually probably a 50s piece, um, but I don't wear it and it's really tight on my waist. Um, and I would rather take this to a vintage shop 
Um, because the vintage shop, if they take it, then I can get something I really like instead of holding on to something that I just kind of like and I just held on to because I found it at Goodwill. Like, um, so it was only like 10 bucks as opposed to like, you know, the like 30 or something this would be at a vintage shop. Um, so instead I'm going to take it to a vintage shop and get something different instead. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This is also another modern skirt. Actually, almost all these modern skirts that are pencils that I've been showing you are from Anthropology. Um, I used to like really shop those sales racks, but it's not really my style anymore. And I don't, I know now enough about like my career and my profession that I'm not like worried about kind of keeping some anthropology stuff on hand or like modern clothes on hand because I have enough vintage clothes that if I style them right they look very modern so there's no reason to keep this around um next uh I actually think so I have two of these and they like look the same almost and I really just need one and I think I like the other one better than this one I don't know I haven't worn this one yet so actually I'm gonna hold up on getting rid of that and I know, so what, I have three, I just need to find two more that I want to get rid of. Um, actually I know exactly what I'm going to get rid of. Um, this was a Kate Skate, Kate Skate, Kate Spade set, um, that I got at Buffalo Exchange in Denver. I love the blouse way more than I like this skirt. I really can't imagine a world where I'd wear this skirt. So I'm going to get rid of the skirt. Um, and then... Uh, I think last up, I am going to get rid of uh, another vintage skirt, actually. Um, so I'm going to get rid of, this is actually another Red Bar Bird Vintage Box skirt. It's cute. I just don't wear velvet. I find that, like, my hands sweat, so I'll, like, touch the velvet and I'll, like, leave handprints in the velvet. Um, so I just find velvet to be a really frustrating fabric for me to wear. I just like don't really wear the skirt. So I'm going to get rid of this. So that's 10 skirts. So I got rid of 20% of my skirts today and I feel really good about that. Um, so this is kind of the disaster. These are all the hangers I've reclaimed and like a bunch of the stuff I'm getting rid of. Um, but I just wanted to take you into the shoe drawers that I've made very challenging to access for myself. Um, so these are kind of all my shoes. Uh, I'm gonna just start to get rid of some, like these gray vans I don't really wear. Wow, sorry, that camera strap is getting in the way. Um, ew, those are like my really gross travel shoes, ignore those. Um, these I'm gonna get rid of. I don't really wear these. I bought these to swing dance in, um, but I have better shoes to swing dance in now. Um, these I'll keep for now. I don't really wear them frequently, but I will keep them. Oh, I forgot I had these soft wedges. That's good to know. Uh, I have some Clarks back there. Uh, I am also gonna get rid of these Lucky Brand shoes. Um, I find them horribly uncomfortable and I don't wear them and there's someone in the world who will love them more than I ever will. Oh man, okay, here's the second shoe drawer. So those denim ones down back there in the back are what I currently use to swing dance with. Um, Let's see, I actually don't think there's a ton in here that I would really like to get rid of. Um, we have some black on black fans. Oh, I am going to get rid of these. These are really cute, but I hate them. Um, they're so cute, but when you wear them, they're just really, really uncomfortable. So they're only really good for pictures, and I am not really someone who believes in keeping something because it looks good in pictures. Um, so if you look... There's some different shoes in here. I just need to like line them up nicely again. Um, and then same over here. I have like a lot of shoes that I just can't access. So I have two pairs of boots like this. Um, one's a warmer pair and one's a cooler pair. Um, these ones are fries that I got for free. So I'll hold on to those. Oh, I forgot about these boots. See, this is why I need to do this. And I forgot about these boots. Those are cute. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the scoop on the shoes. Um, I'm going to work on getting all of these monsters back in the closet. Alrighty, here we are again. You can see my shoes are all neatly lined up. 
we can move my closet around some. Um, skirts look much more orderly. Um, and skirts, if I was better, I would just organize every month and they would feel better. Um, and then this side of my closet, look at all these empty hangers. That is it for this video. If you like what you see, definitely stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. I post every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, so definitely tune in for that. I'll see you next time. Bye. My clean out closet, my, with my new fancy camera. Oh, did I even focus this? I think I lost a skirt and I think I lost track of the rest. Wow, these hangers are such a pain. They hold a lot, but they like tangle and do weird things that make it really hard. Let's pop back up. Hello again.